Good evening. Agenda is on a short pit stop in Delhi before moving to the next phase of elections. And while we're here, everyone's only talking about Sachin Tendulkar. How the sight-selling tickets has crashed. And guess what? Out of the 32,000 seats for his last match, only 6,000, that's right, only 6,000 are up for sale. Is that fair? Should this passes system be totally banned. That's what we'll talk about today with our audience here and our pundits. Let me just introduce you to our pundits this evening. We of course have Ranjeev Biswal. He's a cricket administrator. He's also Orisha Cricket Association. He should explain to us how it works. MCA, which is organizing the last match, was busy giving Sachin his first farewell. So they have an event, so they couldn't join us. Taking contrarian positions, we have Kishore Bhimani, cricket writer and commentator and also sports activist Rahul Mehra. We'll be going to our pundits in just a bit. First, let's just look at exactly what's happening with this entire story. How many tickets are going to legitimate fans? Take a look. Kolapur's Narayan Dev Gautam is one of the thousands of fans who have travelled to Mumbai with just one dream to buy a ticket to watch Sachin Tendulkar play for India one last time. But the experience so far hasn't been a good one. As the day for Sachin's last game here at the Wankhede Stadium draws close, a huge, huge demand for tickets to watch Sachin play for that one last time. But the hordes of fans who had gathered here hoping to buy tickets over the counter had to leave disappointed as this is what greeted them at the gates of the Mumbai Cricket Association office. There was such a massive rush for tickets when the online sale began that the official website kazunga.com crashed. And here's why the common man can feel shortchanged. Out of a total of 32,000 seats, a whopping 23,000 have been distributed among the 330 clubs under the Mumbai Cricket Association. The BCCI and its affiliates will get around 2,500 tickets. 500 have been reserved for Sachin's family and friends. So that leaves just about 6,000 tickets for the general public. Online ticketing for sports events has usually not been the most effective tool. But the bigger worry now is black marketing and hoarding of tickets. A repeat of the situation that the MCA faced during the 2011 World Cup final is what the authorities want desperately to avoid. With Saurav Gupta and Rekha Roy in Mumbai, in New Delhi, Jaiti Bhandarkar for NDTV. So 32,000 seats, only 6,000 tickets up for sale. And that's what brings us to our first talking point. Will VIPs have an advantage over fans? That's what we're asking. Remember, this is also the time when the Supreme Court is looking at the entire VIP culture. So Ranjeet Piswal, uh, tell us how it works. Uh, it seems to be the same situation for all matches, but in this one as well. How come only 6,000 tickets for fans up for sale? Uh, look, the sale of tickets to fans determined by the capacity of the stadium. There are certain guidelines which has to be followed and as a association, Mumbai Cricketer, Cricket Association has some commitments. It has got its own affiliated units, its clubs, its uh, 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 former players and uh, there are um, stakeholders, there are advertisers whom they have to cater to. And uh, I think uh, in their wisdom, Mumbai Cricket Association has uh, allotted around 6,000 tickets. But somehow I feel it's a bit too less. I, I, I see more cricket uh, fans should come into the stadium and they should watch the game. Oh, so you agree with that? Well, it's a pity actually that we don't have Mumbai Cricket Association to take on and give their version, but at right now you're the only administrator who's there who can talk about it. So Kishore Bhimani, what do you think happens over here? Why is it only 6,000 tickets uh, are up for sale? Uh, if you give me a minute, let me tell you what happens in Kolkata. We talking about 6,000 out of 32,000. In Calcutta, it was less than 6,000 out of 70,000. What happens is there is a Bhai Bhatija culture, there is a VIP culture, 
There's a culture of uh, uh, friends of the organizers. And this has gone on from year to year to year.